Good day, everybody. My name is Harry Jacobs, and I am the North of 60 Gamer, and I am representing the North of 60 Gaming channel, and welcome. Uh, today, I'm just having a catch-all morning and thought, you know, I, I should share some stuff with you guys and, and, and talk about what's just going on in uh, my gaming and, and gaming around me in Yellowknife Northwest Territories. Uh, first, I, I'd like to shout out to my friends at uh, uh, Tarmacon. Uh, our gaming nights are, are missed, and uh, hopefully, uh, from my understanding, in April, it looks like they might relax things a little bit. So I surely hope we're going to get back to some gaming really soon. Uh, though I did get a chance to play uh, Dune Imperium on the weekend. Absolutely loved it. Uh, it's a great game. We played three players, and uh, we really enjoyed it. Then we tried Enchanter by Mythic Games, uh, a little bit long th longer than we thought it would be. I thought it would be a shorter game, but when, you know, when you're reading cards and learning a game, it, it did take about 90 minutes uh, for what should have been what I thought should have been maybe 40 or 45. Oops. But anyway, we had fun. Uh, I did manage to win uh, Dune Imperium by a come-from-behind victory. I won the last big battle and then pulled out an endgame card that put me uh, over the top for... Uh, the victory points, or else I would have lost because the other opponent had more spice than I did. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention is uh, a big thanks to uh, Copycat uh, Printers. Uh, they printed some PMP stuff for me, and the uh, printed a, some PMP uh, files for me for a game called Tome. Uh, and the uh, author and designer and the artistic director were very happy with their video. Uh, so thanks, uh, Copycat, for another uh, great job on cards. And I'm probably going to have some more work coming for you pretty soon. Uh, another one, uh, if you're looking for magic, I know uh, Ogre's Lair is still closed. Uh, there is some rumblings that it is going to open soon. Uh, there was a change in status on his Facebook page, uh, Ogre's Lair Family Gaming Store, that he said he will be back soon. That was at the beginning of March. It is now towards the end of March. Uh, let's wish James a, a speedy recovery on what he hopefully will be, what hopefully we'll see him back in his store real soon. Apparently, I'm going to need some coffee. There we go. Uh, this morning, because apparently it's, uh, I'm having a tough time with words. So one of the new things that's going on in, uh, I wanted to show you in, um, in Yellow Life is this 360 Dome Theater. This is brand new. So let me uh, go to Facebook page and maybe we'll play a little bit of their video. Uh, this looks like a fun experience. It's a small dome theater, holds about 20 to 30 people. Uh, let's go take a look. Just hang in there, guys. So here we are on the Northern Sky 360 Dome Theater. This is brand new on Range Lake Road over by the bank. Sorry, folks, if you're not from Yellow Knife, it just not going to mean anything to you uh though if you want to look at a map there is there it is there there we are there's yellow knife anyway um it's their newest attraction apparently they have a 360 degree immersive theater and watch educational and visual stunning films um uh, so let's uh let's let's just uh pop this up here a bit and run this a little bit northern sky films is yellow knife's newest attraction located at center ice plaza Oh, Center Ice Plaza. Sorry, guys. In our brand new 360 Dome Theater, we offer a new way of watching shows and movies. This new theater provides a 360 immersive experience that can be shared with family and friends. Be amazed as we explore our northern lights, galaxies, planets, and underwater life. Guests can be comfortably seated in our 30-foot dome, and we have space for others to watch fascinating music videos and shows as well. Discounts are available for NWT residents, kids, and seniors. Also, feel free to reach out if you need space for your events and parties. So there you have it, guys, a brand new uh, Northern Sky 360 Dome Theater here in Yellowknife. 
Uh, there, there's some pictures here. Uh, it is going to have some VR games that look incredibly fantastic. So uh, there's uh, the future is here. Uh, this is just another thing that we can do in Yellowknife. Uh, and I'm hoping that it'll it'll grow and take hold. Though I'm not sure, you know, with COVID, how well it's going to do. It's but I, as I said, I, the rumor is is that it's going to be opening up in the next month or so. So let's hope so. Uh, not only can we get back to uh, gaming, but to be able to uh, take advantage of some of these thrilling, immersive experiences that you can have over there at Northern Sky. Um, so that's just one of the things that's going on. So a little bit back. So let's go over to uh, something I didn't do last week. And so I want to go back over to Kickstarter. I didn't talk about Kickstarter uh, last week. and just because there was really nothing for, that I wanted to really look at. Uh, but a couple things have come to light uh, since we're here. We might as well talk about some Kickstarter. The first one I want to talk about is Built for War. There was a video uh, from uh, Dice uh, Tower I looked at. Uh, did you ever want to build your own tank? Well, there's an opportunity with Built for War. Um, it's already surpassed its $6,200 goal. It's got 19000 Not too bad. You get 78 cards, apparently, 128 tiles. There's the setup there. Nations, dice, you can play Russian tanks, German tanks, I'm sure U.S. tanks. It has some stretch goals. Mr. B Games, oh, it looks like they've created 26 games in the past. I've never heard of them, but that does not mean anything. Let's just take a look. Oak and Steel... I don't know if I've recognized any of these games, but uh, but they've got some some under their belt. Oh, Dungeon Lords. Okay, there you go. So this is a, a good uh, creator, uh, in my opinion, anyway. So it's got some weight behind it. We got a satin finished. Uh, okay, artillery's unlocked. Calvary. So we got a number. Oh, we've got there's the Dice Tower preview, and I certainly would encourage you to Come over to the website and take a look at this. Some add-ons. Oh, solo and themed module. That's good for 12 bucks. I, I wish they would include it rather than it be an add-on. Uh, but at least they're, they're, they're thinking about it. Shipping. There it is. $15 for shipping. So let's just take a quick look over here on the on the price here. Uh, Blitz in Action, $41, August 2022. Wow, that's a year and a half uh, off. Wow. 1943, during the fight, one cup plus any, and the, oh, what's the difference? 37% off, 35% off. So I'm not really sure. Oh, it looks like an early bird. Ah, uh, it's an early bird, so you can save yourself a whole, $2. Um, 1945, okay, so your FLGS, your local gaming store, uh, it looks like they had a really early, early bird. So it looks like they had early, early birds and early, 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 early birds. Um, I'm not sure if I like that particular strategy, uh, but what can I say? looks okay. I don't know if I would buy it, but I just want to point it out that if you are interested in tanks, it looks kind of fun. Not a game I don't think I'm going to particularly back, but I just thought I'd bring it to light. It was something that I looked at and thought about very briefly. Oh, Mage Noir. Now, this one I have looked at a few times, and I'm really, you can see it's going up. Uh, it's 102,000. They wanted, they were asked, was almost about 27,000. 1,000 backers is this the new magic? And you can see I've saved it. Uh, I'm very curious about this game. It plays two. Doesn't have a solo mode as far as I can tell at this point. Uh, 12 plus, 15 to 30 minute play. It has a common mana pool as far as I can tell. Master the ether. Oh, we have a Rado run through, but that's about all they have. I believe it's out on Tabletop Simulator. So you can play it which is always good. You can get the rule book, good. Uh, the base game, 160 spells. There's lots of cards. There's a mineral expansion, arcane expansion. Oh, we got some pledge levels. 
if I was going to go into it, I think I would probably the legend one looks interesting to me only because it it gives you like double the amount of cards, so it gives you maximizes the chance to, as they say, optimize your bet. But the thing is, it's a card game at a hundred and seventy eight dollars Canadian plus shipping. Is a card game really worth two hundred bucks? Because uh, anyway. So anyway, I, I think I was talking about the price, $178 Canadian if you want the two times. Certainly if you want just the uh, plane, but still, $60, $94 for a card game. It's only 160 cards. I think you get more in a magic box for 100 bucks. So I'm not sure. I, I, I am so interested in this game, but I don't know. I, I'm going to have to decide. Money is tight. And I think the gaming dollar over the last five years is not going as far. And that is a problem. I'm seeing more and more games over that hundred dollar mark. And I'm going like, that's too much. Like 50, 60 bucks would be a good price range for this. But you know, it is Kickstarter. You are buying a little bit of that. And, and some of the exclusives that you get with Kickstarter. So please feel free. I think this is going to be a great game. I just don't know if I can afford it. The last one, 1815 Tristan Hall, man, one of my favorite uh, uh, designers. He has another one uh, in in this uh, battle series that he's done, you know, 1066 uh, Tears of Mother and the Battle of Hastings. This is another one. This is uh, the, obviously the Battle of Waterloo. This is a true game, solo, two-player experience. The game system works. I have played 1066. I don't own it, but I have played it. It is a great game. Scum of the Earth. I like Napoleonic games. The same kind of characters, objectives, units. Uh, okay, we got some wind markers, rules. There's the setup. This is very similar to the other games in the series. 10 plus, I don't know, 30 to 40. Excuse my dog. No, multiplayer. Go. We got some stretch goals. The gameplay I've played. You, uh, there's the other one. 1565 St. Elmo's Pay. Uh, the 1066. Sorry, tears too too many. They've got some play mats. They got the weather card. So there's a lot of stuff. There's three games in the series now. He's best known for the gloom. Uh, gloom of. Uh, sorry. Yes. Gloom of Killforth and Shadows of Killforth. And uh, he has another one coming up called uh, Call of Killforth. And I think that one's coming up fairly soon. But again, let's just look quickly at the, the levels here. So if you just want the game, it is 32 pounds, which is fixed $56 Canadian. If you want the play mat, it goes up to $103. Now, play mats are expensive. I get that. I just ordered one from Inc. Gaming. Uh, it cost me uh, 65 bucks for the artwork. So I, I get that neoprene mats are expensive. If you want the scum of the earth, here it is, $118. Here's the haul in with the with the weather. Again, $116 for a card game. Now, you can see I've saved it up here. I am interested, but again, where do I back? What do I back? This is very, very hard. Here, if I want all the games, and I don't have any of the games, $329, but for amounts to three card games in a tiny, tiny box. There's no minis. There's nothing. This is just a card game. I just picked up a game with 300 cards called Imperium the Contention. It was $60. Same price range. But it had a ton of stuff in there. But... And, and I didn't get a Kickstarter, but it was a, it was the exclusive Kickstarter, so I didn't play the big freight and anything. It was about 65, 70 bucks, and I don't mind 70 bucks. But when we start to get into an all-in Kickstarter at $100 for a card game, then you add the shipping, which is usually $20, $25 to Canada, you're talking $130. That's a lot of money. Not to say that Tristan Hall's games are not worth that money. They are totally worth it. But 
enough of that rant. Let me talk about Sleeve King. They are my favorite sleeves. I buy them. Uh, they are good in between the uh, sort of the cheapo, flimsy 40 microns uh, to the really expensive 90 microns. This one is offering 100 microns, so a very good um, sleeve. In fact, here they go. They're saying the uh, they stopped the FFG with the merger with Amosdi, Amosdi has been going understanding some uh, changes. And the game genetic sleeves have not been the same size as the FFG sleeves and nor the same thickness. I have those, some of those sleeves. Uh, they are not a, they're, they're more along the line of a penny sleeve. Now they're less money. They're only about $3 a pack where Fantasy Flight was around $5 a pack up in Canada. So I just want to point out that I, I like Sleeve Kings. There's different accents. I think it works out to about 3 or $4 a pack. Here we are, $100 a pack. So $1.60, you put some shipping in. Again, it's 200 bucks. I usually buy my sleeves probably be usually 20 to 25 packs at a time. There's a 50 pack. Uh, generally, yeah, that's about right. So you're going to get 50 pack, two bucks a pack. Plus shipping, you're probably closer to three, which is what I pay. There's the 25 packer. Uh, $67, $57, $60 shipping. Still about that $3 mark for us. So I think this is worth it. If you like sleeves and, and don't want to pay a premium price for it, I think Sleeves King's really going to make it. You can see it's $122,000. They're only asking $6,000. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I, I rambled on a lot today, but I really appreciate you coming into my house, listening to me ramble, talk about some games, talk about things that are going on in Yellowknife. Please subscribe if you like what you see. Like if you see it. Make some comments, yell at me, just tell me what you're feeling. Thanks, everybody. Talk to you later.